About a month ago, we introduced you to Tanner and Carter Kreshman, brothers who were playing basketball for different high schools. They both were hoping to just lead their teams to a state tournament appearance. They ended up doing much more than that, both winning state titles and both winning MVP awards. I was able to catch up with the superstars and ask him if they ever thought this was possible. We thought it was a possibility, but I mean, obviously it was a pretty tough task. And I mean, we had to do a lot of work and I mean, we had to play a great tournaments as a team to fulfill it. It was always in the back of my mind, but I never really thought about it too hard because I knew how hard it would have been for both of us. But I guess it worked out. And the 2014 North Dakota Class B Boys Basketball Tournament MVP from Oak Grove, Carter Kretschmann. It, it was really special. It was something we, you know, practiced for our whole lives. And uh, the boys were always good at coming to the gym at a very, you know, young age. And they've worked hard for it. They never dreamed that they would get this far. And some of the awards that they uh, won, they weren't going for that. They were just really trying to, trying to be starters someday on their high school team is what they were working for, but as it turned out, it turned out much more than that, but who would have known? And the most valuable player of the tournament, Tanner Kretschmann from Fargo Davies. Tanner, you were at EDC Championship game during his state championship. How tough was it not being able to be there and watch your brother win? It was difficult. I mean, my mind was always like kind of wandering off during the game, how are they doing? And then I actually, during the awards, I got an update from a fan. I looked across the gym and they said they won, so I just got really excited right there. Other side of the spectrum, you, you won, got your week off, and got to travel up to, to Minot with your parents and see Tanner win. What was that like getting to, to watch him play and win? We know that winning a state championship as a team is, his, uh, is what he wanted most, and to see that happen was great. Do you ever give him a hard time? You have more points in the, in the state title game? No, no, I, <laughs> I don't ever do that because I know he's got a little bit more on me. So. What's Don't want to pick that fight. <laughs> What's it been like at home since this? Is it a lot of remembering how things went? Definitely, the conversations are longer, I mean, because we have to talk about two games that happened. So, I mean, it's just been, it's been great. I mean, just getting our views about it, like, through each game. I mean, I don't know, it's just, it's pretty awesome. Uh, we watched both of our games on, uh, on TV, and it was pretty great just to look back on it. Last time we had that one-on-one -on -one game, it doesn't matter who, who wins that one-on-one -on -one anymore. Not anymore, <laughs> not anymore. Tanner is committed to play basketball at MSU Moorhead next year, while Carter will help Oak Grove try and defend their state title as a senior. Both say they are looking forward to continue watching each other play.